The best part of waking up is hungry neon lizards in your cup. Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host Larry and we're back for some more Rain World here today. That lovely game where we explore what it's like to be a slug cat in a world filled with animals that all want to eat your face. You know, the usual relaxing Sunday evening kind of uh, adventure. And this is the latest game from Adult Swim Games that I played before it came out to kind of preview it. And now that it's out, I'm a little disappointed that the game hasn't really been updated at all to give me increased aspect sizes for my game, like higher resolutions, which is really lame because I play in 1440p or up to 4K in this monitor. And uh, it is not allowing me to do that. So that's unfortunate. That said, the graphics in this game scale pretty well because it's all hand-drawn aesthetic going on. But I just kind of wish it, uh, it gave me more options. I've also taken the liberty to bind a more realistic key set where my movement keys are now WASD instead of arrow keys because only peasants use arrows. And I am no peasant. And when we last left off, I was trying to figure out how to get around to the sides of this cavern. But from what I've been able to discern, the sides of this cavern are actually a wraparound. And they don't seem to lead anywhere. So, I don't know. I... Yeah. It's a little weird. So I'm gonna try and go down this time. This is that room where I ate that weird magical flower. It seemed magical, but I have no basis to compare or confirm that. And ooh, look, free snack. Mmm. Gotta love a breakfast of moth innards gushing around inside of your slug cat face. But yeah, there's like these weird magical plants everywhere. And I have zero idea what they are for. Like, I don't think I can do magic or use my brain powers, but... That doesn't say that, like, I can't use them for other things Like, Oh, hi. Do you come to this, uh hidden locale often, sir. Being horrifying and hungry. Well, that's cool. I'm gonna leave you to it and immediately leave. But yeah, so I, I have a feeling that there might be a pipe over here that we can skulk out the night. But again, it seems like everything is just kind of in odd locations. I haven't been able to find a logic to the landscape of this game that might imply where I need to go. It's kind of one of those games where you just wander and fuck about until you find some direction to go in. So previously I went up in here. And this took me... Shit if I remember where. So I'm gonna go down, because I think there's a pipe down here somewhere. A safety pipe. That's the, the best kind of pipe. It's kind of like beating your potential murdery friend to death with a lead pipe, but without all the blood. So what does this little dude say? There's something about Slug Cat up here. He recommends up there. I've no... I don't trust the weird glowing, like, tutorial dudes. They have not proven to be the most useful to me yet, so I don't know. Oh, it's this thing. It's this flippin' thing. So there is a cheaty plant over here. Oh, God, no. 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 Larry doesn't want... This is gonna be bad. Okay, so that's a that's a new enemy. So that thing will grab me and try to eat me if I am not careful. No, 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 no. Okay, well, that's exactly what happened. I didn't So it's a creeper vine that pretends like it is a pole that you can climb up. So I got to get around that. Unfortunately, we got unlucky with the spawns for the critters in this area. So I I, like, latched onto it, and I didn't mean to. And then it tried to touch my booty hole. I have, everyone likes this booty. It's a very... It's a very lush booty. I gotta say, like, it's a 10 out of 10 slug cat booty. Just like my real-life booty. But, uh... I would just as soon appreciate it if they didn't booty touch me. Without permission. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Like, take a guy out to dinner in a movie first or something. You know, t tenderness. That's all, that's all you need little tenderness, and a little of not this guy. So I'm gonna see if I can't get- Oh, come on. Come on, Mothman. Don't be like that. Don't do a guy like that. Mr. Lizard, could you fuck off? 
Is that a thing that you could do for me? All right, well, I'm just going to avoid you. I know where there's food. It's over in here. Hopefully something doesn't meet me on the other end of this pipe, because something came out of here before. Hello! Yeah, this is exactly what I was concerned about. So it looks like there's actually some letters in the background. It's like something 3DG, which might have something to do with the developer or some such. Oh, hi. Could, could you not? Could you? Could you not, sir? Something I also like about this game, although this game is kind of brutal at the same time, is the lizard folk will eat each other. Like, they are not bashful about having a nibble of each other's face. So I'm just gonna take this snack for the road, and I'm gonna get the shit out of here. They will eat each other, like, the different colored lizards will eat each other. And there also appears to be, like, a not very friendly critter in the form of... There's, like, a wasp, and it will, like, suck your organs out of your body. And that strikes me as something I don't necessarily want. I'm gonna eat all these delicious berries and be about my day. So the idea is, if you want to save the game, you have to have eaten enough to hibernate for, like, a really long nighttime period. And what's going on here? Are you eating yourself? That thing just straight ate itself. You know what? You do what you need to do, terrifying column of fondle. Are you going to eat the lizard? Yes! You are going to eat the lizard, and you can keep that lizard. Yes! I love- I love an environment that works to your benefit. Like, I really do. So where did I go before? I went down from- Oh, there is a save point here. Okay, cool. So that's what I'm looking- Ah! Oh, I didn't die from that. Well, that I was not expecting. You, however, Mr. Lizard, can go get fucked by that thing. Straight up. Hey, look! Yeah! We have a save spot now. Yes! And I guess it will let us use it, despite the fact that it's not about time to rain yet. So yeah, that's our second save point. Or a third? Second, third? And now we have switched over to the next day. And we can somewhat safely explore from here. I don't know. I'm, I'm completely just guessing. This game is literally so new that I looked up like a map for this game, but not even the tryhards have really mapped this game yet. Like... All the places that I went to were like, Hey, Larry, you're a YouTuber. Why don't you write a guide for us? And I'm like, yeah, no. If I was going to write a guide, I'd just do a full... No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, Larry wants to live. No! Okay, so it's... It's a little trickier than you anticipate trying to get out of here. And of course, my counter of days since last molestation count it down to one again. So that's... that's a thing. Oh well. What are you gonna do? What would you do for a Klondike bar? Hopefully not get... No! No, no, no! Gosh dang it, go away! No. I refuse. Are you serious? Is there nothing I can do? Do I have to wait till something gets caught in that? For real. Also, this continuous animation to go through this pipe over and over again is a little maddening. Can't you just spawn me in the open room? Okay. Yes, game. I know it wants to fondle me. I got that part. I got it. So what are my options here? I can go... Oh, there's actually kind of a map going on. And there looks like there's food over there. And what in the hell... That's a tentacle. Okay, so that's the fly I was seeing before. It's a tentacle fly. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with this, to be honest. I'm going to go up here because there's less molestation up here. And we'll see where this goes. Uh, not a great place, but I've seen worse. Oh, no. No, that's a bad touch. That I don't want. I want that even less than I wanted the other thing. So, I don't think I have an exit over there. No, I gotta go down and around. Okay, that's fine. 
Let's find out what's gonna touch me down here today. More Cthulhu flies. Not... Not the biggest fan of the Cthulhu flies. They're not the worst thing to run into in this neck of the woods, but it could be better. Okay, and there appears to be some type of fondle downstairs. So that's cool. I am between a rock and a, and a really shit place, but there's food here, so that's at least something. And I can eat everything. Everything must be mine. As I try to find some place not to get eaten. So let's see, there is a path down here. Let's take this path, screw it. What's the worst that could happen, said the chupacabra right before he died? The little helper glowy things aren't exactly telling me anything new. Oh, there's like graffiti down here. So there was like a, there was another at least maybe human species that wrote in illegible fonts that I couldn't tell what the hell it was supposed to write. So these are runes glowing in the floor. Apparently I need some type of magic rune power in order to get past here. I... alright. What happens if I go down? Is down... death? Down looks to be death. Okay, well, down is a no. Well, that was neat. So apparently I do need magic rune powers. Yeah? Yeah, Mr. Neon Sprite that's supposed to help me? What do you know? Are you gonna tell me things? No? Alright, well you can piss off then. Since it seems that there's no bacon to be had down here. I guess I'll just leave then, hmm. Her 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 her. Yep, that's about it. I gotta go all the way back up and around and away from you. There is literally nothing here that doesn't want to eat me. Maybe I should just kill myself and start back over from that checkpoint. That might be what the doctor ordered. And my wall jumping abilities are rusty as shit. Well... Let's try going over here now. I'm gonna eat this bat too. Well, it's not, it's not technically a bat, but it'll do. Well, stuff was here. Let's try what's, what's in here. There's stuff I don't want in here. That's what's in here. That's a big bucket of no. I'll try again some other time. Well, the Cthulhu thing is gone. So that's, that's nice. That's at least something. And that appears to be a touchy. So, oh, hi. Yeah, could you kill the, could you kill the Cthulhu, the Cthulhu thing? Could you, could you, could you fight each other, please? Could you please fight each other? I guess the answer is no, Larry. We will not kill each other for your amusement. Well, fine, game. Fine. Don't kill each other for my entertainment. Okay, so that's the save point down there, and I need to find a magic rune. So that's cool. Wait, where does that go? That goes into that connecting room that they were fighting and chewing each other in, so I'm gonna not go in there. At least my intuition neon sprites will help me determine what will eat my face. Which is to say, this thing right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and not play with it. How does that sound, game? Does that just sound like the bee's knees? A slice of fried gold? Alright, well there's food here at least. So how does this work? Is it, is it, am I just like... How long does the rain last? Am I like hibernating for a night? Am I like hibernating for a week? How does this work exactly? Because, like, it, it pl clearly plants have had enough time to regrow. Alright, here's my character. I was wondering where the heck my character went there for a sec. So how the heck do I... Oh, I, that's right, I need to go over here. I spastically ran through here trying not to drown before. And that went about as well as one could expect. No, stab it. Okay, the context controls, guys, Adult Swim games. 
They could do with work. That's all I'm saying. So where are their paths? There's really not a conjoining path here. There's like this. Where is this? Well, it's not bad touching me yet, so it could be worse. Oh, it takes me in here. Oh, okay. I've been in here before, I think. F Russian W something. And it's telling me to go up there. How do I get up there? That is a good question, game. I don't know the answer to that. I guess I have to play Pipe Pals with all this derpy terrain. Yeah, I can't quite get over there. Is there a way over here? No. Well, poop. I can crawl up through this, is it? Yeah, that's a hole. It's really hard in this game to figure out what you can crawl through and what you can't. Like, that I have noticed a lot. So why isn't it letting me hop that way? It's like I'm getting banged on the head by something. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it was. So let's try up here. So we can snake around over here. And I can do like a power jump. That didn't do anything. Shit. Well, I'm gonna go through here because... Oh, no I'm not. Never mind. We're gonna try and figure this out a little bit longer. Oh, come on, game. I was clearly trying to do a power jump, and you're just like, No, Larry. You will fall down, and you will like it. You slug cat bastard. So, let's see. Oh, apparently if you try to, like, aim the jump before you jump, it's it also kicks you out. I don't know. Like, that's probably the biggest qualm of this game, is that the controls, by default, kind of suck. And you kind of have to rebind them, but then they also don't really behave themselves in a, a way that I would say is meaningful. So, how do I get up there? Like, do they want me to jump across? But where does that go? That doesn't stay in this room, obviously. It goes to some other hidden room that I haven't been to before. Yeah, that's what it is. I want to go there, but it's like the acrobatics of this game are fucking with me. Come on. Come on now. I will say, the, the critter in this game is like, I'm torn. He's cute, clearly. But he's also really derpy. Yeah, I can't reach that, so I'm just gonna have to go through here. And hope that the stuff that would normally molest me is dead by now. Uh, we can, we can work with this. There's like a, there's like a throughput up here. Actually, no, there's not, because he's sitting on it, so I'm gonna have to go down here. Are you gonna leave? What are you doing? I don't like that you're in here. Oh, yep, you've left. Okay. That means he's gonna be, like, waiting for us on the other end of the pipe. Like, he's just gonna... If I was a monster in this world, I'd just leave my mouth on a pipe and wait till something crawled out. I'll be completely honest, but it looks like he's completely disappeared. So maybe that's our chance to crawl up here. I know for a fact that there's probably stuff up here, I just never got the chance to properly explore it. Because every time I did, I died. So that leads back up here towards the mystery pipe. So that might be our ticket. It's also starting to rain, so we might not get that chance. Yep, I'm gonna say we're not gonna get that chance. So let's go back up here. And let's go back up into this safety pipe. And we'll just have to sleep in here. Okay, well... I mean, we're not... 
we're kind of making progress, but the, again, this is a game where you're just gonna have to skulk around and try to figure out what direction you need to go in. So wait, there's a cutscene here, and the weird little space jellyfish is trying to tell me something. Okay. So is the way that this works that I just have to wait until I reach the right day and don't die for a certain amount of time? Yeah, because here's that rune, and the rune in that door down there was like the rune from up here. So that must be it. We just have to survive for a certain number of days, and then we must be able to proceed to the next stage in this game. All right, that, I, I, maybe that's what it is. We'll figure it out. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been more Rain World. I'll catch you next time. Have a good one and toodles.